Okay, so you can see this psychedelics and future a comprehensive overview. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. So thank you for giving me opportunity to present uh, psychedelic and future. So psychedelic it was first introduced in 1897. Arthur Hafter first isolated masculine. Despite early interest in the potential, many psychedelics, including LSD, psilocybin, were banned in the United States in 1967 due to growing concern about their effects. Both LSD and psilocybin are known to mimic some symptoms of acute hallucinogen use offering insight into consciousness and mental health treatment. In this presentation, we'll explore these compounds further, delving into the future therapeutic potential and future possibilities. Before going further, now let us know what is the definition of psychedelics. So psychedelics are powerful psychoactive substance that alter the perception and mood and affects numerous cognitive process. They are generally considered physiological safe and do not lead to the dependence or addiction. Hallucinogens have been used as a spiritual tools for thousands of years, especially in the non-Western culture. But it wasn't until 1896 that they were introduced into the Western science when a German pharmacolo pharmacologist named Arthur Hafer isolate from Piot's cactus. From then on, psychedelic research really took off in the mid 1900, especially due to work of Albert Hoffman, who started the effect of two major psychedelic compounds, LSD and psilocybin. These uh, substances become the focus of intense in study, particularly for the potential therapeutic uses. Researchers explored how psychedelics could help treat conditions like depression, alcoholism, and even provide support in palliative care. In fact, during 1950s and 1960s, tons of thousands of patients were treated with psychedelics in psychotherapic setting. LSD became a model substance for these therapeutic breakthrough, and there were surprisingly a few negative side effects were reported. However, in the late 1960s and early 70s, things took a sharp turn Psychedelic, particularly LSD, become closely associated with cultural turmoil, especially anti-Vietnam War movement. This, this le led to more psychedelics being criminalized in 1971 and classified as a Schedule One drug under United Nations Convention on Psychotropic Substances. This not only created legal barrier, but also stigmatized psychedelic research and many scientists were discouraged from continuing their studies. Aside from the legal challenges, challenges, some researchers believe that decline in the research was also due to the difficulty in proving the effectiveness of psychedelics using the scientific methods available at that time. Particular challenge of fitting psychedelics in controlled trials. But that, despite these setbacks, interest in psychedelics has been slowly reviving. And today we are beginning to see a new wave of research into the potential therapeutic benefits. Before we dive into the specifics of psychedelics and the future, I would like to start my main objective of this presentation. This will give you a sense of what to expect and how different aspects are interconnected. First, we'll explore the scientific foundation of the psych psychedelics. I will walk you through how the substance interact or psychedelics interact with the brain, what we are currently know about these mechanisms of action and how they alter consciousness and brain connectivity. Next, we'll ex examine the therapeutic potential psychedelics are showing significant promise in treating mental health conditions like depression, PTSD, and anxiety disorder. I will present some of the latest clinical findings and discuss these implications for modern psychiatry. Third, we'll take a broader view, look at the social and legal implication. These resurgence of psychedelics has been met with both excitement and concern. It's important to discuss how they are perceived, the growing, the growing movement toward the decriminalization and the ethical debate toward their issues. Finally, I will identify future research direction and the challenges that is still lie ahead. While the field has made a great strides, there are still many, many 
unanswered question about safety how to responsibly integrate these substances into society together these object objective aim to provide a comprehensive overview of potential psychedelics hold for the future of science medicine and society so let's start with the pharmacology of psychedelics so most of the psychedelic work on 5-HTA and 5-HT2-V1B receptor. It has both agonist and potential, and sorry, partial agonist activity. So coming to the mechanism of action, uh, there is neurological pathways and most of them uh, interact with the serotonin 5-HT2-A receptor and that ultimately impact on the brain connectivity and the, the neural networks. So coming to the uh, like uh, neural activity, dynamics, and receptor action of the psychedelics. 5-ST2 receptor activation increases the neural excitability. Like, so it works by membrane depolarization, reduce hyperpolarization, and less spike frequency adaptation. Again, the streptamine like psilocyne also binds to a first, first uh, 5-ST1A receptors that has an opposing effect, decrease in the Neuro neuronal excitability. So overall dip effect depends on the relative abundance of the receptor subtypes and the subcellular distribution of these receptors. So what are the key areas where the psychedelics act? It acts both of the sh short and long term effect. So let's look at the visual pathway mainly that affects uh, affected by psychedelics. So LSD suppresses neuronal firing in the lateral geniculate nucleus. Mixed neural responses found in the, the visual cortex and uh, in the study done in the mice reduced around suppression and suggested disruptive contextual processing. In the similarly in the uh, dorsal RFA, LSD induced a near completion cessation of firing within one to two minutes, and it did affect observed in the psilocyne, DMT, uh, and uh, <coughs> masculine. Other affected regions are hippocampus, locus cellulus, and multiple cortical and subcortical areas also affected. Though the mechanism is unclear. So coming to the therapeutic potential of psychedelic. So finally, I will so finally I will identify the future research direction and the challenges that still lie ahead. While the field has made a great strike, there are there are many still unanswered questions. As we move into the potential therapeutic application of the psychedelics, I would like to focus on their potential in treating mental health condition disorder like depression, PTSD, and anxiety, where conventional uh, uh, treatment often have limitation. Psychedelics, particularly psilocybin, MDMN, LSD, have been shown result in clinical trial, but all these are at the infantry stages. We need more concrete evidence. We need more robust evidence. Although these researches are backed by major research, like institutes, uh, major research institutes like John Hopkins, many work over psychedelics has been has been done in the Israel as well. But all these work need to be more scientific so that we can come to the conclusion and produce some scientific guidelines, and then when, then we can provide benefit pro, benefit to the society and to the patients. The therapeutic possibility of the psychedelics is vast. Beyond depression, future research is looking into these substances could treat like conditions like OCD, eating disorders. No doubt, this, this field is expanding greatly, but we need to gather more evidence by investing more, by do, doing more clinical trials and exploring more scientific evidence. Then only we can give an alternative treatment and integrating into the mainstream mental health care. In, and changing the future in that way. So one study published in 2016 uh, by Donald Griffith and his team at John Hopkinson, which was a randomized uh, double blind uh, crossed over trial. This study gives cancer patient with poor prognosis and associated, uh, associated anxiety depression, either a high dose of psilocybin or low dose of the functioning result should decrease in both clinician and self related measure of depressed mood and anxiety. So psychedelics uh, 
have effect on the cognitive apart from that uh, the disease mental health condition it also affect on the cognitive flexibility and the it causes the neuroplasticity and researchers have shown this increase the creativity and problem solving enhancement so this is from the past to the future how psychedelics these are the major movements that have uh, happened across the globe uh, in the psychedelics and uh, the i'm just i just want to uh, uh, the give some uh, <coughs> few <coughs> few important uh, events that happen in, in the uh, in the psychedelics in 2000 uh, john hopkins got the green light to start research uh, psychedelics again after a long ban this was a huge breakthrough in 2016 at the same university a ground breaking study study has done on psilocybin brought the world's attention back to its potential benefit this really a kicked off modern research 2088 safety and guidelines for the using psychedelics in clinical th- to make sure everything was done carefully and ethically in 2018 experts starts pushing for psilocybin to reclassify so it could be more easily used in the treatment despite all these things researchers from john hopkins uh, researchers from the john hopkins study the safety of the psilocybin if a drug found in the magic mushroom they suggest that if it is passed the final test it should be a change from a very restricted drug to a less restricted drug but still in the controlled manner despite all this there are a lot of barriers to the psychedelics despite the promising result that these investigating have high yielded are still barrier to advancing psychedelic researches stigma legality and cultural interest are influence the amount any amount of research that can be conducted in any field but especially it is more paramount in the field of psychedelics so barrier to advancing psychedelic research stigma negative perception about the uh, about the psychedelics and the legal restric- restriction strict regulate limit research opportunity cultural factors like social attitude influences interest and acceptance of the psychedelic studies so psychedelics in society so in this slide we look at the psychedelics in society and how things are changing so social perception we are we are in what many uh, call a psychedelic renaissance where attitude towards psychedelics are shifting from fear and stigma stigma to the curiosity and acceptance decriminalization and legalization around the world we are seeing movements pushing for the decriminalization and even legalization of the psychedelics countries and cities are beginning to re- uh, reconsider old laws and explore the potential benefits ethical and legal consideration as researches grow these are important questions around ethics and law how do we use psychedelics responsibly how do we regulate them to ensure them they are safe and effective beyond medical use finally psychedelics m- may play a role in enhancing well-being outside of medical context people are exploring their potential to the boost creativity mindfulness and personal growth this show how psychedelics are becoming a large part of society and the discussion around them are evolving since everything has challenges so psychedelics also have a challenges and controversy uh, like risk of misuse and abuse one of the biggest concern in the pot- potential for the misuse or abuse without proper guidance these substances could be used in unsafe ways and ethical de- dilemma in clinical use these are ethical questions when using psychedelics in therapy how do we ensure patient give informed consent what about the long term effect that we don't fully understand yet and stigma from the past psychedelic still carry the stigma from the association with the 1960s uh, counterculture and recreational use this make it harder for the people to take their medical potential seriously so we need a n- more rigorous researches lastly there is strong need for control rigorous research to fully understand how these substances work we also need clear regulatory frameworks to guide their safe and ethical use in the society 
so as we wrap up let us summarize the key points uh, recap uh, of the potential and the challenge psychedelics hold incredibly potential for the treating mental health condition like depression ptsd anxiety but they also come with challenges like misuse stigma and the need for more rigorous researches so importance of ongoing research is in, it is clear that the evidence based research is critically to fully understand how these substances work and how we can use them safely and effectively we need to keep pushing for well uh, for well designated studies so future of psychedelics looking ahead psychedelics could play a key role in scientific and therapeutic innovation as researches grow so does the possibility of them becoming a transformation tool in the mental health treatment so lastly there is a need for collaborative science medicine and policy must come together to ensure the safe ethical and responsible use of the psychedelics we can make progress only if these will work hand in hand so uh, so thank you very much uh, so i just want to conclude in that way so these are my references thank you so much dr bipul uh, this is uh... a more of a very interesting area now it is uh, picking up in the uh, majority of the part of the globe people are started thinking about use of psychotropic uh, psychedelics in management of uh, various psychiatric disorders i will say in other way uh, though it is uh, in the modern medicine use of psychedelics for a therapeutic use uh, is introduced quite late but when you refer to the ancient system of medicine particularly the indian ancient system of medicine ayurveda uh, a lot of uh, ayurvedic medicinal products they contain some amount of cannabinoids or opioids for they are uh, since a long time since centuries they are uh, in therapeutic use for specific purposes so um, uh, we are rather i'll say that we are inventing uh, the therapeutic potential of uh, psychedelics it will be uh, to uh, uh, less uh, it is better to say that uh, we are reinventing the therapeutic potential of the psychedelics in the modern system of medicine in a more evidence based manner so that we can use it uh, more effectively more in a controlled manner for the use of uh, various psychiatric disorders uh, i will be happy to take some questions from the audience uh our comment from the audience yeah, can i ask you something if from the rational why would you you know it's working on the serotonin system and uh, so what what would be a good combination of uh com combining psychedelics with other medication or has these studies been done so uh, sir actually all the studies has been done we these are very in infantry stages like um, they we don't have any robust evidence about that but a lot of the lot of trials that has been done like in the john hopkins and uh, actually i was going to the research in uh, the a conference of psychedelics in israel so a lot of researches i could find find but not none of them come to a, like having the very concrete and like very robust evidence uh, but uh, all are these are in the very infantry stages and we need yet to discover uh, but as such uh, like adjuvant therapy along with the other drug is not been like uh, i could not see any i could not find out any uh, thing like but uh, but they have used with the control group or uh, like uh, other things but i could not find any any of the adjuvant therapy like you told like with other antidepressant or anti psychotics or other thing uh, in india very recently cannabis related products they are uh, introduced uh, for therapeutic use mostly it is not uh, approved by the ministry of health and family welfare or the yeah. director control uh, drug controller general of india but it is yes, being uh, approved by the ayush uh, ministry that is the ministry that is dealing with the alternative system of medicines so it is being started marketed in india some parts of india so sorry to interrupt you sir sir psychedelics are not cannabinoids and opioids yeah sir these are lsds and uh, psilocybin these are psychedelics but cannabinoids or uh, opioids are not uh, psych are come into psychedelics how, how, though it was like a lot of uh, uh, in the ancient history or like we use psychedelics has been used but it is a different name i just forgetting it's not soma it was told uh, soma 
so in indian in rig way that is told soma but in uh, like southern american culture it is i have i have husa like something like that so the, it is like it's no different from the cannabinoids and opioids so any more question please 